this is my jealous one, Bella. And she is the mean one. All right. <laughs> she, she's, she's jealous. Let it Okay, all right, time to get to work. Enough of that. This one's sweet, though. Look at this little one. <laughs> okay, what's up, guys? Uh, you can see I had to change from my house over to the office. I was trying to record a few times and it kept messing up. Actually, I bought an old program that was supposed to be lifelong, and now they want me to pay for it, which, man, that's pretty messed up. So I just switched over to the old Zoom, and we're going to try this on Zoom and see how this works. Hopefully it works fine. Again, this video is about properties that are offering financing. There's not a lot of properties in Cabo that offer financing, and uh, I found some that do, and let's go ahead and let's check them out. So the very first one is Vista Bahia for 305,000 buckaroos. If we click here, and this has been on the market for a long time. So typically what happens is, you know, when something's been on the market a long time, then they're going to start opening up to other options. And, uh, you know, one of those options could be you could lower the price uh, or you could accept financing. And I don't know the exact terms on this particular unit. I can find out if you're interested, but... Uh, looks like they're accepting financing. Moving along here to number two. This is a uh, penthouse in Ventana. It's also been on the market for quite a long time. Three bedroom, 14,000 square feet. Looks decent for the price. Not sure as to why it's been on the market for so long. Maybe it has some issues. Obviously, it has no furniture in it. Um, there's definitely better deals out there it's pretty far out so i'm not sure what phase this is it tells the west um, so yeah nothing special here but i threw it on the list we're going to get into some more exciting stuff here at the end of the list which, which i really quite like so porta nova if you guys know me you know that i like this project this is one of our projects I'm going to open this up here a bit so you can see. Uh, this unit, I believe, actually, in my last video, I said that uh, Tower One was completely sold out. I was wrong. We have six units available, and those are all almost all ground floor, and we have one second level available. So if you guys don't know, the two best properties for Airbnb are, what do you guys think? What's your guess? Penthouse, middle, mid-level, or ground floor? You guys tell me. I'm going to tell you guys here in a little bit. I'm going to tell you at the end of the video, if I remember. No, I'm going to tell you here in a bit. Um, but it might not be what you think when it comes to Airbnb, that is. So, again, this project doesn't show it on here. But they offer 35% down and then five payments of 9% as it gets constructed. And then a final payout of like 20% at the end. You get the keys. And the cool part about this project is they build a house for somebody else, somebody in the barrio, somebody that really needs a home. They build like a $10,000 house for them. You get your keys and then you hand the keys to a, a family in need. So that's awesome. Super awesome and uh, very cool. And to answer your question, the best two properties for Airbnb is Penthouse and Ground Floor. That's the two best properties. I've checked with multiple people on this. And um, so Ground Floor is awesome because you walk right out to the pool. So if you look here, I mean, how cool is that just to walk right out to the pool? Also, if you have small animals, elderly people, you know, that don't want to travel up to the to the rooftop. And again, too, like if, when you're buying groceries, you just go to Costco and you've got bags and bags of stuff. You know, the penthouse can be uh, can be annoying. Don't get me wrong. They're awesome. Also, but it's nice to be on the ground floor. I'm on ground floor and uh, I love it um, because I'm similar to this. 
I live in a, a development very similar to this, where even on ground floor, you have a very nice view of the, of the ocean. And it's, it's nice for animals and, and things like that as well. It's also nice when you're, you know, like when you're bringing in the groceries and things, just, it's very uh, easy. So that project also offering financing. This is through Triamonte, I think. Yes, Triamonte. And this is also pre-construction. And this is part of the Kiviera brand also. I believe. Let me make sure here. Yeah. So you can get access to everything in the Pueblo Bonito resorts, spa, discounts, community, discounts, supermarkets, blah, blah, blah. Okay. There was another Triamonte that I seen on here where they were actually charging an extra fee of $95 a month, which I thought was quite strange. I don't see it on this one. So maybe that was a different one or a different um, part of this new Triamonte that they're building. So just check that out. I remember the HOA fees on this seem super low when I checked, like in the 200s. Let me see. HOA, HOA, HOA name, three bed, that's not helping. Dues, 230. So that's, that's low. I mean, that's very cheap. Not bad at all for a three bed, um, but it looks like they don't have a big yard and things like that to maintain. So that's probably why they are lower. And again, I really love the Kiviera brand. Um, you know, that, that gives you access to everything. It's like a big community. So you're getting access to, again, to Pueblo Bonito, Sunset, Rosé. You're getting both sides. You're getting the Pacific side and the Sierra Cortez side, which is very cool. So moving along here to this Equinox, not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but I met a very nice young lady who bought a place here and these things are very cool. Not saying I went back to their, her house and did anything. I'm just saying that I seen the inside of the house and it was pretty dang cool. I love the layout, super wide layout, not extremely long, but very wide, very modern and nice view i don't believe she was up very high so as you can see you've got the the living room on one side and then uh, her unit was a two bedroom with the, just the two bedrooms on the on the left there but still very cool very modern awesome second vacation home and extremely inexpensive as well so very cool i love the outside big patio and then if you're on the level that walks right out to the Cool. That's cool as well, too. And I have another friend, and I'm not sure if he lives in this exact unit, but there's quite a few of these out in Pedregal. Yeah, these would definitely be the cheaper condos out there because they got a lot of big money uh, property out there as well. But yeah, it looks, uh, looks very cool. Moving along. So oops, that, that was Equinox. So this is Solara, and this is 1,800 square feet, three bedrooms for 530. Still pre-construction on this, I believe, as well, but I think it's not too far out in El Tazal. Let's see what else it shows us here. Financing. I'm curious on the HLAs. 252 on the HOAs on this one. Uh, looks, I mean, looks nice. Again, like when you compare this to uh, Porto Novo, I mean, you're definitely getting a lot more amenities, things like that. Like if you were to jump back over to Porto Novo here for 430, much cheaper. And the size, you know, we're at 2300 square foot versus 1800 at a much cheaper price with a lot more amenities like pickleball courts, restaurants, you know, golf course discounts. Um, I got to say Porto Nova wins. And let's move along. Avila, 
So this one, in my opinion, is way overpriced. And this thing has been on the market forever, like two, maybe a year, something like that. I don't know why they've got these priced so high, 659. And they're low in the valley, like not with a very good view. Again, I love Kiviera. I love the amenities. I love everything about it. Like they, they do a good job, but I don't get the price point on these. I don't know if they're willing to lower their price or what. It just seems high to me. And going back to that, as far as Porto Novo goes, if you guys talk to me, uh, I can wheel and deal, okay guys? So I can get these prices even, even lower than this price. So everything is negotiable. But I like Mavilla. I just think that pre-construction when you're still that far out, like, cause those things have been going forever and they're just starting. The prices seem too high to me. So uh, also here in Kiviera, this is a Copala. This is actually, actually my hood. And these houses are almost 800 grand, 2.5 beds, three beds. These ones have very little view. These are the last ones available. The community is basically, basically built. The community is excellent. Gotta plug my computer in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm back. So these properties are very nice, and you'll have a view from the from the uh, roof, of course. A lot of people put jacuzzis on the roofs, and they're nice. But these particular ones that I know that are left really are going to have a bad view. They're, you're going to be looking right into the neighbors. They're not um, desirable per se, and I may or may not know of a, a listing that is an amazing deal for just a little bit more than this maybe in the one-ish range i can't i can't say for sure it could be a joke but if somebody's looking for an amazing deal in copala at a sick house on i can't say if it's the best view but it maybe is i don't know you should probably send me a message it actually is very similar to this one. If, again, I could be joking, you never know. I'm not really supposed to say that stuff. I'm not supposed to talk about that stuff, so I'm not. So it might be a joke, who the hell knows. Anyway, so let's look at this unit here. Look at this sexy unit. Oh my goodness. For one, two, nine, nine. Beautiful. Look at that's handsome, handsome fella. Look at the view from here. So this is Rancho San Lucas. So you have Kiviera. This is like a, a big community. And then next to that, you have Rancho San Lucas. And then next to that, you have Diamante. Three of the top communities on, on the Pacific side. And this particular house is absolutely beautiful and comes with a Road King Harley Davidson special edition. And this thing is like brand spanking new. It's beautiful. It comes with it comes with the villa. So this is as turnkey as it gets. I mean, they have literally everything. So as you see the picture here, when you live in Rancho, you get access to Grand Somar, kind of like when you live in Copala, you get access to uh, Polo Bonito Sunset, Polo Bonito Rosé. So here you get access to Grand Somar and all of their different amenities, their restaurants. They have their own community over there. And I will say this about Rancho, they're at a little bit of a higher, uh, a higher social scale. And the reason for that is because all of their houses are a million dollars and up, whereas Copala has houses, studios that start at 130,000. You could get a one bedroom, you know, low level house in Copala for, I think I seen one go for 250. You could get, um, you know, they have a very, you know, starting all the way from 100,000 to houses that are going to be $10 million. So like, like, uh, what was the name? 
the new the new project. We'll get to that at the end there, but um, yeah, they have it's, like I'm saying, it's a wide variety of people. Whereas this is very exclusive, and if you really like that, I mean, let's just see, say like who's who's the you know the, the name behind it. It's the um, Greg Norman Signature Golf Course. So of course it's going to be a very exclusive and um, you know, that kind of, uh, just a, a very high society kind of people. This bathroom, amazing with the view that looks right over to the Pacific and the golf course, absolutely stunning. And um, they're offering financing on this, which is uh, also very rare. And that is, uh, I think they're gonna do Roughly, you know, everything's open to negotiation, but roughly 60% down with a five to six year payout at uh, 6%, which is pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. So moving along here, uh, Cor Coronado. So this is nice, also very upscale. This is the community right next to Kobala. And this also doesn't have any condos or anything of that nature. So it's a very upscale community. Doesn't have, um, it's, you know, there's not a ton of houses in this community in comparison to, um, to Kopala or to other communities. But as you can see, I mean, this house is going to be beautiful. There's quite a few houses still available. Five beds, 4,500, almost 4,600 square feet. You're looking at a little over two and a half million. This is pre-construction. I believe they have some completed units available and their view is going to be excellent. You have to be careful because they are building uh, Alvar. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right pull it down here, my pronunciation, my pronunciation in English isn't that good. So in Spanish, it can be even worse. Let me look here. Alvar, so this house starting at 3 million pre-construction, there's actually, they do have some that are under two million, like one nine. And those are also look pretty spectacular. These are like the, the cool new kids on the block, if you would say. And they're taking up a little bit of the view from some of the houses and some of the properties in Copala and possibly in Coronado as well. So you got to watch out for that. And that is definitely something like if you choose me to be your realtor, I always check that out, make sure that in the future, hey, it's cool now, but let's make sure that that's good in, you know, in two years and five years, make sure that nobody's going to be able to build in front of you or at least not much, because that does always happen. So scrolling through, I mean, these houses, villas are going to be just stunning. And they are right next to the ocean. And that almost could be uh, a little scary if you know the Pacific Ocean, but stunning houses. I don't think I'd want to be ground level here, but up a little, I think it would be Pretty amazing. So, and the, I don't remember what they were offering on that, but I know that Kibiera offers some pretty amazing financing up to like 15 years and things like that. So yeah, I wanna say if you put 50 to 60% down, they'll carry a contract on like 15 years, which is pretty impressive. Now, I don't know if they're doing that with Alvar, but I know with the other houses in Copala, those last villas, I know that they were, which was this one here. I know that they were offering up to 15 years, which is ridiculous. You don't, you don't, you never see that. Um, this house here, one of the nicest houses in Copala. It is on the on the corner view. So it's on like the, the best view of the ocean, but yet also uh, meets the golf course. So spectacular view, I've been in it before. I mean, honestly, for the price point, it doesn't get too much better than this. It's open, so it's super open and wait till we get to the, the pool. I mean, it's got a pool with a jacuzzi and a putting. Green. I mean, beautiful. And then you can see how it's got the view 
the golf course here, looking right over the ocean, and it's got, uh, you know, the terrace on the top. So you've got shade, the barbecue, the outside kitchen, the fire pit. At 1.8, um, it's a little high. I'm just going to be honest. It's a little high. And I don't know why that they raised it to 1.8. I think that's because there was another unit, which there is another unit in Copala, also priced at 1.8. And this unit is better than the other unit. So I think they just said, hey, we're going to match them. They probably don't need money. That's as that's the uh, the thing about Copala and a lot of these communities is um, a lot of them, they don't care. They're not really like interested in selling. They have really, really good uh, Airbnb numbers especially a house like this that has, I think it's got a pool table on the roof. Let me look. It's one of my favorite houses actually. And the other house is nice too, don't get me wrong. It's just not set up as good as this one, as far as like the decor, things like that. And it's on a little bit of a, a different line, but close, similar. And that, again, that house, again, I think is priced too high also. So look, you can see it's got the pool table over on the side, which is super cool. Got an, another barbecue up top, very cool. And then the jacuzzi right in the corner. Like that view is, it doesn't get much better than that. Amazing. Stunning pool, let's go. Pool, jacuzzi, barbecue. Come on guys. And then again, you're getting access to everything. Pretty friggin' awesome. I think that's it. You know, there's not a ton of people that do financing. I think out of all those, you know, I like the Porto Novo. I like this uh, Equinox. I think I'm butchering the name. I like, uh, of course, I love where this Rancho House, especially now that they're willing to do financing. That's that's a steal. Um, you know. So for me, if I had to choose between Coronado versus Alvar, because they have other properties that are less than this, like one nine, I mean I'm going, I'm going Alvar all day long over Coronado. Just me. But um, I mean five thousand six hundred square feet. A freaking monster. That's total square foot. What is the? Let me see if I can find the actual AC square foot. Still 4,000 uh, AC square foot. That's huge. I mean, that's a big, a big old pimped out house right there. I love it. All right, guys. I think that's it here. Um, yeah, again, anything you guys need, you guys know, message me, Brandon at CaboCribs.com. Instagram, BK Cabo, YouTube, BK Cabo, Facebook, BK MMA. All right. If you guys have a property that you need listed, I am the listing guy. I mean, just look at my listing. Let me see my listing on here. Look at my listing versus these other guys' listings. It's, un it's, it's unbelievable how much better I am. So here you go. So I got the listing i go right off into a high quality video absolutely stunning god that's a handsome young man right there you know what i mean i've had this listing for not too long we've already had two serious offers um you know make another list another video my marketing is it's better than the rest i'm not gonna lie it just is i mean my marketing is better and I spend a lot of my own money to uh, to bet in myself, that's what I do. So again, if you guys need a good listing agent, this is the guy right here, all right? And if you need somebody to help you buy a house, nobody can negotiate better than this kid. You get what I'm saying, all right? So you need any help, message your boy. Let's go, let's do this, all right? Love you kids, see you guys on the next one.